Good day, Jim Fredette. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas, as I broadcast across the nation. I'm so excited to speak with you. I'm excited, excited to be here with you as well, so thank you very much for having me. I want my audience to know, you know, March Madness is, you know, really upon everyone, but I have something for you to follow the journey of a basketball star, Jim Fredette. He's starring in a new documentary about his unconventional career and his journey as a basketball star. The documentary is called The Lonely Master. Well, Jim, i got a confession to make. All right, I'm not a sports fan. Husband is on, you know, <laughs> the usual. But I watch your footage to prepare for my interview this week. I might watch basketball because of you. Wow, well, that's a, that's a big compliment right there. I appreciate that. Hopefully I can. You are good. You're really good. Now, this means <laughs> nothing. You. Remember, I have no really affiliation with basketball. But you're very good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. That's, I try to. I try to be exciting if I can and try to get as many people to watch basketball as I possibly can. So I appreciate that. <laughs> okay, this documentary about you. What is it going to tell people like me who, who are not affiliated with basketball and people who are basketball critics? What is it going to tell them? You know, it's going to kind of go, it kind of goes through my career um, from me as a young kid um, having a dream to, to make it into the NBA. So it kind of shows me going through high school a little bit and then going through college and my college career and then making it into the NBA. Um, but my first stint in the NBA didn't necessarily work out the way that I wanted it to. And ultimately, I ended up going to China to play basketball. And uh, so I had been in over in China for the last three years. And um, it, this documentary kind of follows me through that process. And then going to China and showing um, you know, myself over there playing and the culture and, and the tough things that go into playing basketball overseas and being away from my family and, and different things like that. And then ultimately being able to make it back into the NBA and reach another goal. Um, so it kind of is a very relatable story to, I think, a lot of people out there where, you know, sometimes life doesn't happen exactly the way that you had pictured it. But because of that, you get another opportunity to go out and do something different and try to take advantage of that opportunity as much as you possibly can. And then from there, still have, um, still have your goals in place to be able to, to go back and reach your ultimate goal, which I was fortunate to be able to do and being able to make it back into the NBA. So I hope that people enjoy it and hope that it's a very relatable story and inspirational story to people. Tell me about your dream, because all of us can, hopefully everyone can identify with sometimes your dreams seem stalled or they're yeah. not going to happen. So when you, you, you enter that space like, I don't know if this is the right career, I don't know if the right career, career path, and then a path opens up for you like China did. How do you make that decision? How do you know it's where you're supposed to go? Yeah, I know it's, it's difficult. You know, sometimes it's, it's difficult to figure out exactly where you are supposed to be. But, um, you know, I'm a faithful person and, and believe uh, things happen for a reason. And, um, you know, just trust in, in uh, you know, my Heavenly Father. And, and uh, so I definitely prayed about it and did everything I could. And then from there, um, felt like the, China was the, the best opportunity at that time, you know. And uh, because of that, I, I tried to, to take advantage of it as much as I possibly could. I knew I was going to be there. And instead of, you know, being down on yourself, I tried to make the best of that opportunity. And uh, fortunately, it really worked out very, very well for me. And I was over there for three years and, and got better as a basketball player, got better as a person, and kind of f found myself and who I am and, and grew up. Uh, you know, physically and, and matured mentally and everything. So ultimately it worked out really well. But, uh, you know, you try to make the best decision that you possibly can. And once you make the decision, you have to be comfortable with it and, and work as hard as you possibly can when you get there. What great advice from Jim Fredette is about you. This is about my listening audience, Jim. It's your journey, but they are absorbing this. And hopefully the documentary will visually cement this for them. Okay, finally, the choice to never give up. How do you persevere against that? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's, it's the most important thing. I mean, you know, like I said, things aren't always going to happen perfectly. Things aren't always going to happen exactly the way that you want them to. Um, but uh, you can't sulk about it. You have to continue to push forward and uh, take every single day as an opportunity to get better at whatever it is that you're trying to get better at. 
um, get better at your career, get better as a person, and um, you know, just never take things for granted. And I've learned that, um, you know, from being in the NBA and and uh, being there and and thinking that I was going to be there for my whole career, and then all of a sudden it's gone just like that. And then because of that, um, you know, you're still living, you're still your same person, you're still, you know, a guy that can go out there and and, and affect people's lives. Um, so it's important to be able to, to have that mindset each and every day and um, go out there prepared to, to battle and, and do the best that you possibly can. So that's, that's how I've tried to deal with it. Jim for Dad, you are my shining star on the Valdor BB Show, and I get to talk to great people all over this planet. I kid you not. <laughs> yeah. You are such a bright light, and there is so many incredible things God has for you as you unfold your life, but that's for all of us. We just have to do the things that you said. Okay, the documentary, Documentary. when do we get a chance to see you? Yeah, it'll be, uh, it premieres, the Lone Master premieres Saturday, April 6th at 9 p.m. Central, and uh, it'll be on BYU TV. Um, so you can see that on all different types of um, satellite, direct TV, dish networks, and you can get it at the BYU TV app or BYUtv.org. So there's a lot of places you can watch it. Um, and I'm um, excited for people to, to see it, and hopefully there's great feedback from it. And BYU, that's your alma mater, correct? It is. BYU is my alma mater, so the TV station picked it up, and it's in over 50 million homes. I mean, it's a, it's a big station, <laughs> big, big network. My, many people might not know that they even have the channel, but if they check on their direct TV, they do have it. So. <laughs> no, I'm a watcher. I love the channel, love the college. Great. Thank awesome. you so much, Jim, for that, for being on the Valder Beebe Show and inspiring me and my audience. Continue on your journey. Thank you so much, Valder. I appreciate you having me on. It's been my pleasure.